Uh, opening match on the show was the Warriors, Team Ultimate Warrior, Legion of Doom, and a Texas Tornado going up against the perfect team of Mr. Perfect and Demolition. Um, this was just an awesome match. I know that they've done uh, various six mans. Uh, I think that was one of the biggest things they pushed out there on the road was the Ultimate Warrior and Legion of Doom going up against all three members of Demolition. And um, when LOD and Demolition uh, met up, I mean, they were hot. A lot of people had always looked at Demolition as sort of a copycat of the Legion of Doom because the Legion of Doom were the NWA, and this was, you know, fresh off them uh, coming over, and they hated each other. At this point, Ultimate Warrior was the uh, WWF champion. I think, honestly, he was on his way down as being a champion. I think uh, SummerSlam, uh, they probably got the numbers on what the, him and Rick Rude in the Steel Cage match did. That whole match was basically built around is that Rude had beat Warrior uh, at, at WrestleMania, and I think he was the only guy to ever beat the Ultimate Warrior, so they just made him the number one contender fresh out the gate, and I think they already had their mind that they were going to be uh, taking the belts off Warrior. Uh, at this point, Hulk Hogan was not going to be the champion anymore, but he was going to be like the uh, main centerpiece still of the WWF. He was going to be the main event. Uh, he was going to be the guy that everybody came to see, and they were going to try and build the champion around a belt. I I'm not taking anything away from the Ultimate Warrior, uh, but definitely when you look and see what's going on, He's still a main focal point of the WF, but you can tell that he's not um, Hulk Hogan. Um, in this match, uh, everybody beat the holy hell out of each other. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior was the uh, the main survivalist of this whole team. You get to see uh, Demolition and some good tag team action going back and forth. Uh, Texas Tornado was always one of my favorite guys as a kid growing up. I never really knew what Kerry Von Erich was uh, until I grew up. But I always sort of levitated towards this guy. I used to uh, have a uh, wrestling tag team with my buddy who lived uh, down the street with me. And we used to wrestle wrestle buddies. And uh, he would always be the British Bulldog. And we call ourselves the uh, British Texans. We marked out really hard at Survivor Series 91. When they tag teamed up together, too bad we didn't have a friend who was a Ricky Steamboat fan. But uh, he just was a guy that came along for the ride. Real, real fun stuff.